Right now at 11, two people are in jail after officials say one of them rammed into a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy with a stolen U-Haul truck. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay Jarvis. Our Steve King joins us live from the Palm Beach County Jail. And Steve, what can you tell us about these two people who were charged? Jade, well, investigators say before 31 year old Ginger Taylor rammed a stolen U-Haul pickup truck into a deputy. She already had out of state warrants for leaving the scene of an accident and for fleeing and eluding. The man she was with, 27 year old James Boswell, had an out of state warrant for fraud. But then the chaos began here in our area. Before four in the morning on Sunday, a license plate reader like this one spotted a stolen U-Haul pickup truck near Parkwood Drive in Royal Palm Beach. Deputies arrested the driver, James Boswell, but while deputies were making that arrest, investigators say Ginger Taylor hopped behind the wheel of the stolen U-Haul and drove away. Around an hour later, about three and a half miles away next to the Royal Inn Hotel, deputies spotted the stolen U-Haul. At that point, officials say Taylor drove directly at a deputy who shot at the U-Haul as she hit him with the vehicle. She was able to drive away northbound on Royal Palm Beach Boulevard, but investigators later found out she had been shot in the leg. The truck came in sideways and then um, it fished her back and it hit the, back, uh, the front of that truck. The pursuit led to Carlos Avalos' property on Royal Palm Beach Boulevard and Persimmon Boulevard. He says he and his family were awakened by all the commotion outside. The first uh, bang that we heard, the first uh, loud noise, I, I, it was like, didn't wake me up. But what really got me full awake was when I heard the officers running towards the back and yelling commands and stuff like that. And a little panic came in and I went around my house making sure that everything was okay with the kids and everything in the house. Avalos capturing this footage of the scene. Deputies say Taylor was arrested nearby and treated for her gunshot wound. She has since been released from the hospital. The deputy was treated for his injuries and is expected to be okay. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is leading the investigation into what happened. As for the deputy at the center of all of this, he's on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.